So now we're going to add some sort of login functionality. So we're going to create two new routes. We're going to say root get login, root post login, and we're going to pass arrays into both of them. The first one we're going to alias login, and it's going to use auth controller get login. We don't need to add an alias for this one because it's unnecessary. But we do need to specify the controller. So users auth controller at post login. Now notice how in each of these routes the first word of our method names are the same as the HTTP method. This isn't mandatory. You can name your methods how you please. But it is nice to keep your code organized this way. So now we need to create this controller. So we're going to create this file here. Class auth controller extends controller. And we're going to add these two methods public function get login, public function post login. Inside here, we're just going to simply return a view called login, and we're going to create this view now. So login .php. So inside here, this is going to extend layouts.main. We're going to have section content, and we're going to stop. And we want to create a form here. So form open we're using laravel's form helper and form close basically this just converts to form action method equals post blah 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 it also adds the csrf token automatically which i think is very nice inside this form we're going to have two inputs three inputs actually we're going to have a text going to have a password and we're going to have a submit this is going to be named username and it's going to have a placeholder of username this one is going to be named password and it's going to have a placeholder of password and submit we're just going to add a value of sign in so if we go to our browser and go to slash login I've already styled this form by the way if I go to my style sheet I already added all the CSS for this if you want to copy it feel free if not then no problem so now we need to handle this form at the moment when a user clicks sign in we just get a blank page we need to fix that and by the way I just want to remove this so we're going to pass in an array here. The form open method takes the first parameter as an array and the array is going to contain custom attributes. So in this case, we're going to set autocomplete off. So this is just going to convert to form method equals post autocomplete equals off. That's all it is. So if we go back, there we go, fixed. So as I was saying, right now if we click submit, we just get a white page. So we want to process this form here. The first thing that we want to do is set up some rules. We have a username field and we have a password field. Both are going to be required. And I think that's the only validation rule we need. I think that's all that's necessary. We're also going to create a validator instance. So validator make. We're going to pass in all the user input and we're going to pass in the roles. Now we're going to say if validator fails, we're going to return the user back to login. And we're also going to pass in some errors. So with errors and we pass in the validator object. So if we go back to our browser and we leave these fields incomplete, 
hit sign in, we get returned as expected. But we're not getting any errors here. So we're going to go back to our view. Outside of the form, we're going to say for each errors count as error. And for each, we're going to say p class equals error. And we're going to have the error. So for each error, we're just going to display a paragraph element with a class of error containing the error message. So let's test this again. Oh, we got an error here ourselves. But we, this should be errors all. So let's give this another go. Sign in. And we have our errors. So now we made sure that the user entered some data. Now we need to check if the user entered the correct data. So we're going to say auth equals auth attempt. We're going to have an array and a boolean. I'll explain what this is later. The array is going to be the data that we want to match against the database. So we're going to match name to input get username and password the same but for password now we don't actually have to hash this laravel will detect that we're looking for a password and it will hash it automatically so now what is this on most websites you will see a login form just like this but you'll also see a checkbox here for remember me if you select it then you won't have to log in every time you visit the website we're not actually going to implement that here because we want to keep the tutorial as short as possible. But if you feel that you can, then by all means feel free. So now we need to actually check if this works. So we're going to say if not off, return redirect root login with errors. But instead of passing a validator instance, we're going to pass our own array. And this array will contain our error messages. We're just going to have one here. Invalid credentials were provided. So if we go back, we enter some bogus data. Enter invalid credentials were provided. But what if the user inputs correct credentials? Then we just want to return redirect root home. That's it. So if we refresh, enter our correct details enter we get redirected to home but now we have an issue if a logged in user visits the login page he still sees it we want to prevent that so we are going to go to our roots file after this route we're going to add a method before guest now this is a this is called a root filter if we go to our filters file here and we look for guest, here it is. Nope, sorry, here it is. So basically, when we append this to a root, whatever's inside this filter will get executed. So in this case, we're checking if the user is logged in. And if he is, we're going to redirect to the home page. Also, need to add a filter for this before CSRF and this is all we need to do in Laravel to protect against CSRF as long as we use the form helper. If you decide to type your forms manually then you'll need to use form token to add the form token. So let's just check this worked. Let's go back to our browser. We're logged in at the moment so if we visit this page again if we refresh we should get redirected to the home page. There we go, perfect. 